okay this is the uh, the end condition a way to get from one level to the next okay so what we're gonna do is I have a texture made the door okay I've made it in GIMP right here it's a door object and in unity we're gonna drag that texture in and in the texture settings we're gonna set that door and we're gonna set up the uh, textures clamp point 32 and 16 bit apply so now we've got our door all set up so what we're gonna do is create a game object create other cube this is gonna be a lot like a checkpoint except it won't have a checkpoint script it'll have a different script so actually what we can do is just delete that cube um, and uh, delete the cube we're gonna take this last checkpoint and we're gonna modify it okay we're gonna change this change the name of this checkpoint to door okay and we can actually change the color of that to blue and we can remove this checkpoint script remove component okay and then what we're gonna do is um, whoa my camera's messing up there we go so we can uh, zoom in on that door what we're gonna do inside here is we're gonna add in this door material or this door texture so we're gonna go to materials right click and create a material named door select the texture the door object make sure that it's a transparent diffuse so the black parts go away go to our door object make sure our mesh renderer is turned on and then apply the door that is a really really wicked looking door and it's backwards so to fix this we're actually going to spin it on the Y 180 degrees so now the door is the right um, area and then we're going to shrink this down so our door is looking like it should okay but we want that area to be pretty big because our player is going to enter it okay so we're going to actually change the shape of this shrink it down and then we're going to increase the box collider on the Z by just left clicking on the Z over here in box collider and cranking it up okay so now we have a door and we can move that down so our player doesn't have to fly to get to it okay so there we have a door and if I play my level now and I get over a goblin guy here kill him and I keep running and jump oh I failed let's try this again without the fail and I get to the next checkpoint and then I get all the way to the door now if I get to the door nothing happens so we need to script an action to jump from one level to the next so we're gonna go to scripts right click and create a JavaScript and we're gonna name this level advance okay so we're advancing a level we're open that in mono develop okay level advance we're not gonna need any of this script we are gonna say function on trigger enter yes we're using another trigger it's getting old I hear you it's okay we're going to check for the player with the other dot collider and we're gonna say if other actually we don't even need to check for yeah we do we need to check for other if other dot tag equals player so the player has entered the door area we want the player to have to push a button in order to go to the next level okay so for in our game we can either make it so that the player automatically goes to the next level or if they push a button I'm gonna set this one up uh, both ways I'm gonna show you how to do one and then the other so to make them push a button we're gonna say if input dot get key up that means they pushed it down and let it up the key we're looking for is up the up arrow if they press the up arrow then we want it to happen we want the the action of loading the next level to happen okay so if you want them to use a key these are the lines you put in the if input if you want it to just automatically happen then you don't need that if statement and you can just type this simple code this is the easiest way to load a new level it's it's ridiculously simple you just say application that is the video game you are currently playing this application dot load level and then you give it the name of the level 
you can pass it just as plain old everyday string. So ours is named tutorial scene two. I think that's what it's called. Let me check my folder real quick here. And two D shooter, blah blah, assets, scenes, tutorial scene two. Yep, and that's what it's called. So that's the level it will load when we press the up arrow inside of the door. Okay. Now let's say you wanted this script to work maybe on a bunch of different doors and you want it to load a bunch of different levels. Okay. So to do that what we're going to do is remove this script and we're just going to put in the word level. Okay. So that is a variable. So on top we can declare it. We'll say var level equals and then two empty quotes. And what that'll do, if we save this and go back to our Unity window and let it compile the code, and we go to our door, and we add in the level advance code, you'll see we now have this blank space next to the word level. If we click there, we can actually type in the name of our level. So tutorial scene two, okay? So this door, the first one, will take us to tutorial scene two, okay? So let's go ahead and just be super creative game designers and let's duplicate this door. Okay, so we got it highlighted blue in the hierarchy panel right here. We control D to duplicate it and we're gonna move a door up. So up on top, our super secret door, okay? Now if they go into this level, we want it to go straight to the boss level, so we can just name it boss level. Okay, we don't actually have that level made, so Unity will give us an error, but it will show you that it actually does work. Okay, um, to make this a little easier, so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me try and get up there, because we all know I, I just fail at that, I'm going to go ahead and put these two doors down here, but if I was making the game, I would put the secret door up there. Okay, so let's play the game now. And um, actually, I missed a step, but we'll we'll get to that. We'll get an error, and I'll show you what the missing step is. And oh, oh God, I made him move way too fast. So we're going to enter this door area, and if I press the up arrow key, nothing is happening, and that's the error. Nothing happens at all. Okay. So there's a couple of problems with this first off. One is that in order to make it load a new level, we have to add it to what's called our build settings. Okay. So what we're going to do is go to file, build settings, and you'll notice we don't have any scenes. So we're going to go ahead and add the current scene, the one we're in. We're going to go to our scenes folder and then drag tutorial scene two over. And so then we can close this window. The other issue we're having is that we're checking for on trigger enter. Okay? Once he's entered it, I mean, that's as soon as he enters, right away. What we need to make sure is that he's actually inside and staying there. So we're actually going to change this on trigger enter to a different function called on trigger stay. That means he's inside the, inside the trigger, not just entering the trigger. Okay? And this is another great and wonderful Unity function, which you can look up um, if you just want to highlight it and then press Control and the quote button or the apostrophe button. It will open up a browser for you and take you directly to the on trigger stay right here. Collider dot on trigger stay. It will tell you all about it. It's called almost almost all the frames for every collider other. That's our player that is touching the trigger. He's inside of it. Okay? So if we go back to Unity, and we now have our levels in our build scenes, and we've got our on-trigger stay set up. If we play this game, and I move over, and get killed by the got, got, oh god. You know what? No. I'm done with you. You are making me mad. I'm gonna... There. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, I'm going to come into my door area over here, and I'm inside the trigger, and if I press the up arrow, I get moved to level 2. There I am. 
Okay? So there's level two. Yeah, I got you this time, sucker. But you see, the camera doesn't move with the player. And that's because in level two, if we go to level two, let's save level one. In level two, we never set the main camera up with the smooth follow script. Okay? So let's go to our scripts and give it a smooth follow. And then our target is going to be um, our player object. And then we need to set up our, um, we've locked rotation. And we don't have anything else I think we need. Nope, that should be it. Okay, so if we play this in scene two, okay, yeah, now the camera adjusts to our player. And, oh, we need to uh, make sure our goblin has a spawn point. There we go. And we need to move him down so he doesn't fly. Okay. So now we can save the scene. Unity gives me an error like it always does. Okay. Back to scene one. And now we'll play the game. And I'm going to demonstrate the error with the super secret boss level door. Okay. So if we go to the boss level door and press the up arrow, you can see it down here in the error window. I'm actually going to press the up arrow here. And you'll see we get an error. And it pauses the game for us. And it says boss level could not be loaded because it has not been added to build settings and that's why we added that tutorial scene 2 to those build settings okay so if we go back to playing our game and ignore that error and we come over here and we press the arrow then we load in level 2 right away just loads level 2 bingo here we are we've got our moving platform and we can go all the way to the end um, and jump on this and then ride it up and that is levels. That's as easy as it is. It's it's a simple line of script. Application dot load level and then name it. You know, and you can take this door. Let's take the door object and create a prefab for it by dragging it into the prefabs. Okay, and if we go to our scenes and go to scene two, save scene one, go to scene two, okay, and we can drag in our door object and just set it in here somewhere nice and move our screen so we can see what we're doing and put the door in here and we're going to change this so that it loads level uh, one okay and then save our scene and if we play this so we start out on level two we move over to our door we press the up arrow and it loads level one and we can run over to this door and press the up arrow and it loads level two. There you go. That's as easy as a level system can be. In the next part, I'm actually going to take scene two here, and I'm going to attempt to make a parallax background. As a request from another viewer, he's uh, he said that a lot of people have some issues figuring out how to make parallax backgrounds work. There's lots of scripts, stuff in the Unity store, all kinds of things to give you smooth effects. I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out, because I've never made one, but I'm going to go ahead and figure one out and let you guys know how to make a parallax background. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time.